If you have been looking for a way to add some spice to your flight, then stick around as we will be covering NeoFly in this video. NeoFly is a career mode add-on for Microsoft Flight Simulator. When creating a new pilot, you have a choice of three beginner aircraft and three difficulty settings. These offer different levels of realism to the experience. One example is that in pro mode, when you crash, you only lose the plane. However, in survival mode, if you crash, you die. You have to start all over with a new pilot. Now that we have opened NeoFly, you can see the mission page. On the right side is the map, showing locations of the pilot, aircraft, and missions. This can be switched to and from satellite mode using the checkbox down here. On the left is the mission list. Here you can see the missions that are available from the pilot's location. You can change the location down here anytime that you are not flying a plane. Just type in the ICAO code of the airport you want and choose whether to fly there or to just pay to travel there. The missions can be organized in a variety of ways, including by mission type, by highest to lowest paying, by the amount of XP given, and by alphabetical order. You can even filter the missions so that it will only show missions within your plane's maximum weight limit, maximum distance, the maximum passengers it can carry, or even by the different types of airfields. This is useful if you do not want to be landing in random grass strips whilst flying a jetliner. Below the missions list is the aircraft list. You can see any aircraft that are available to buy or rent. Each have different categories. Once you've chosen a mission to fly, right click on that mission and select the fly option. This will bring you to the flying tab and that will show the mission is ready to fly. Information such as the total weight of passengers, the weight of fuel, the departure and destination, and distance of the flight can be found on this page. Good weight is the weight of any market goods that we are carrying. Neofly has a market economy which allows pilots to purchase goods at one airport to sell for a profit at another airport. The marketplace may require its own video for explanation, so please let me know in the comments section if that is something you would like me to cover. But for now, let's focus on this mission. Now that we have the information that we need, we can put that into the Microsoft Flight Simulator and begin to plan our flight. First, we put in the ICAO codes of our departure and arrival. Then we will need to put in the weight of our passengers and any cargo we may be carrying. Notice the center of balance of the aircraft changes as you add weight. If you put too much weight toward either end, it can make the plane harder to fly. Once we have all the information in, we can begin our flight. Once we are on the runway, we can open NeoFly and click the connect and fly button. All the lights should turn green and you will get audible confirmation. Good morning, my favorite transporter. Passengers will board as soon as you request. Transporter for dispatch. Boarding passenger, please stand by. If you don't hear this, then you will need to double check that the flight simulator has not reset your weight info. As soon as everything is on board, you can then get clearance to take off and fly to your destination. Transporter, boarding is complete. You can start your flight. Transporter, good flight. Now that we're in the air, this could be a good time to show that you can use NeoFly to navigate during the flight. We can see that on the map, there is a red line going direct between the two points. The breadcrumbs show the flight path of our current flight. This comes in handy during some of the rescue and fire missions because you aren't flying directly to an airport. You first need to find an arbitrary point somewhere. You drop off the emergency responder and then find somewhere to land. Speaking of landing, we're coming up to our destination. Let's land this plane and show you all how to complete the mission. Once we have landed and set your parking brake, you will hear another announcement. Transporter, disembarking of passengers can begin. Transporter, all the passengers have disembarked. Good job, see you soon. Wait for the audio to finish, then you can switch off the aircraft and the mission is done. You can confirm this by opening up NeoFly, making sure you're on the flying tab and looking in the log section. Here you can see a bunch of notes about the flight, including any bonuses you get for a smooth landing or any deductions you have for flying like a fighter pilot. And that's it. That's the basics of NeoFly covered. This is enough to get you started on your new career as a pilot. There is a lot more to NeoFly, including a market economy, training for higher plane categories, hiring AI staff to fly planes that you cannot just yet, creating your own FBO or a scripted campaign. These can all be covered in their own videos. So please let me know in the comments section below if you would like to see these videos. Until then, happy flying.